Okay, here I am at the trailhead here for Niagara Falls. Signs right over there. Quite a bit of parking here. Plus there's parking down that road there ways. I'm all geared up. I got my photography gear with me and tripod and everything, so I'm loaded down. The early part of the trail is pretty good. Imagine it's going to get maybe spots where it's kind of muddy, but for now it's not too bad. And oh, it's not too muddy because all I wore were my trail runners today. Definitely some really nice trees here. Old snags over there. A lot of moss down in here. And the sun's shining on it. Nice little bench right here. Those vine maples are leaning over. That's a pretty good size tree here. I'll swing around and do kind of a selfie with it. Okay, there it is. I hope the size comes through. That's a pretty healthy size tree. Okay, I got some logs across the bridge here. I was pretty lucky this bridge made it through. A lot of, bit, a lot of stuff came down. Decent tree there. Yeah, a little bit of a nice little fall there. And you can see it through the trees and the brush. Okay, here's the other fall. Or falls, I'm not sure what the term is. I didn't realize the sun would be quite so bright on it, so it might make it a little interesting when I try to do my photography with a tripod and the camera and blur the water. Coming up on the fall here. On the fa falls, I guess it's called.
Okay, down here at the base of the other one. And it's a beautiful day which makes it really bright up on top of the falls. I'm hoping that my circular polarizer and ND filters can cut some of that down. Here's the area down around the base of the falls. And there's a picnic table here. And a nice little place for a person to just kind of hang out. And you can see the other fall over there, the other falls. So it makes it pretty nice. One look, last look at the falls and, look, and back over to this one, which has the sunlight on it, so it's a little bright, but it's a very nice set of falls down here. Then just right across is that one. But overall, this trail is in really good shape, and it's a really nice hike up here. It's not very far, about a mile each way, but well worth it. Just wear a sturdy pair of shoes with some traction. Trail runners would work out great, and Take your time. Bunch of storm damage down there. Tree came down. Top came out of this dead one there. It's woodpecker holes all along this old rotten stump here. I'm almost back up to the top here. I'm just kind of looking around. Lots of limbs down from the ice storms, but trail's good condition. A couple things on the trail. Other than that, it's pretty good. There's nothing sketchy on this trail, but there are a few spots where it could be a little slick, and some tread on your shoes would be a big help. You know, a little bit of traction. And here's the final corner, so I'll be going around that and going back up to the trailhead.